All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app, step 56, all right? So there's another way to associate an input element's text with the element itself. We can nest the text within a label element and add a for attribute with the same value as the input element's ID attribute, all right? Uh, so we're going to associate the text loving with the checkbox by only nesting the text loving in a label element and placing it, and we're going to place it to the right side of the checkbox input element. All right, so that's, that's a little hard to uh, get on the first to read, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to make a label element to the right side of this thing and it's going to have loving in it. So basically we're just going to wrap this loving right here like thus and like thus. And we're going to say label inside it. And then we're going to do it over here, label. All right. Uh, but the thing is, like we read up here, we can t we can nest the text within the label and add a for attribute within the same value as the input element's ID attribute. So we're going to have to put this four right here, because look what happens if we don't. Oh, it doesn't have the four. Okay, let's do the four. So we're going to say four equals, uh, instead of, uh, it's just like this, we're going to say loving right there, right? Loving, loving, boom. Check it. Now, right, good. Submit it. All right, and now we're on uh, step 57, and we'll see you next time.